Okay, entering into the building goes right into a formal living area. Then we have a formal dining area. Back behind the entry door is a what could be as an office den or it could be opened up to additional living room space. Currently was converted into a fourth bedroom. Kind of on the smaller side, but has potential to again be an office den or can be just opened up to living space to make the living room a larger area. Floors seem to slope in certain areas, so uh, but that's kind of common with older homes. This home was built in 1920. Looks like it had a, a recent remodel probably in the 80s, uh, but hasn't been any, anything done since then. This here is bedroom, bedroom two or bedroom one, however you want to look at it, but it's a much larger bedroom. Again, it's got central heating and air, so the air ducts and registers are all throughout the house. Everything's up in the attic which is good for easy access. This is bedroom two. Again, fairly, fairly large room. Each room has its own closet space. Here is the hall bath. Good sized bathroom. Bedroom three or four, again, this is the master. This is looking across the way. Master bedroom with a window and a sliding glass door out to the backyard. Turning this way, you have a master bathroom. So you have a master bathroom here and a walk-in closet, which is actually a fairly large walk-in closet. And coming this way, and you've got your formal dining area. kitchen. With access into laundry room. This building doesn't look like it's secure probably need to be redone but I don't see any insulation the floor sinks down below the level of the house which means that the foundation probably needs to be built up a little bit but still it's got a laundry room and that's the inside so this is video two of the inside at 3602 26th Avenue